monster man walk down. <laughs> New technologies are, are bringing into question many of the assumptions we've made for thousands of years. I mean, what are we? We're information. We're patterns of information. We back up the information on our computers. We don't back up our mind file. Eventually, we'll be able to do that. What you're watching is a uh, design of a robotic red blood cell. Uh, once we understand its principles of operation and the pace with which we're reverse engineering biology is accelerating, uh, we can actually design these things to be thousands of times more capable. If you replace 10% of your red blood cells with these robotic versions, you could do an Olympic sprint for 15 minutes without taking a breath. You could sit at the bottom of your pool for four hours. So, uh, honey, I'm in the pool will take on a whole new meaning. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what we do in our Olympic trials. Presumably we'll ban them, but then we'll have the specter of teenagers in their high school gyms routinely outperforming the uh, Olympic athletes. The same technologies that are going to extend human longevity are also going to radically expand our resources. Do we have enough energy? We have 10,000 times more sunlight than we need to meet all of our energy needs. We need to capture one part in 10,000. And the technology to do that is emerging from nanotechnology. Solar energy is doubling every two years. It's only eight doublings away from meeting all of our energy needs. 16 years from now, solar and other renewable energies will meet all of our needs very inexpensively and will make fossil fuels obsolete.